I'm going to show you how to make this simple animation with just the set mat. Let's get into it. What's up guys, Edward here from Red Dragon Studios and today I have another tutorial for you guys. But before I get into that, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe and I will tell you at the end how you can win a copy of Element 3D. With that, let's get into the video. Alright, so today I want to show you how you can make a simple text reveal with just using effects straight from After Effects. There are no plugins required, so you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial. It requires a simple set matte effect with a few solid layers, a shape layer, and a few text layers. So let's first start with our text layers. For this one, we're going to type in tutorial. All right. We also want to make sure that the text is in the center of the frame. And to find out how you can do that, you can hit this button right here and hit title action safe. By doing it, it reveals basically a grid for what's going to be on the screen. Okay. Now we're also going to duplicate this text layer, right? And we're gonna place this one just underneath this and we're gonna rename this one, right? So just for the tutorial stake, we're gonna type in for YouTube, right? Because why not? And then after that, we can kind of make adjustments to it because there's gonna be something else I'm gonna do as well, right? So next, I wanna create our shape layer. Now, in the video I explained previously, you can make a shape layer with just a simple pen tool. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Uh, is create this shape and all we're gonna make is a straight line okay so we're gonna go from this point to this point and to make a straight line you just hold shift and click right now very simple nothing over the top very easily now that we have our shape layer created we want to create our stroke right so we're gonna hide this mask here on the frame and we're gonna go into the settings here we're gonna go to contents shape stroke right we're gonna change the color to white and we're gonna set the stroke the width to about five pixels okay so when you see it there you can make it a little bit bigger if you want so six let's say for me let's make it eight right now that you've got your actual line there we can move on to the next step which in this case is getting our effect set up the set mat so now we have our basic set up here we got our scene set up now we want to apply the set mat before we apply this effect though we need to add some solid layers to this okay so the first solid layer we're going to call this one set mat one okay and you can make it any color you want because it's gonna be hidden in the project okay the first mat layer we want to set it up to where it's right underneath we're covering up this line okay and we can leave it there right now if we want to okay uh, but that's not all we're also going to duplicate this okay so we're gonna rename it I call this one set mat two because when we apply the effect we don't want to get confused on what mats we want here, right? So we're going to hide the set mat one and we're going to take set mat two and basically reverse the position of where the first mat was. Okay. We'll get into that in a second. So now that we have these set up, we can reveal set mat one and we can apply our set mat layer. Now, when we apply the effect, there's multiple ways you can search for this effect. You can use the effects and presets panel here. You can go to effect up here and search for it. Or if you're quick, fast and want to get the job done quick you can use the effects console from video copilot um, it's all the same okay so we're going to take the set mat here and we're actually going to apply it to our text layer for tutorial okay and then we're going to take our other one for youtube and apply the same one there now before we move on with animating the set mat uh, let's first start by animating our text here okay so we want to go to position here i'm going to type p on the keyboard right and we're gonna keyframe this and just kind of jit it outward, right? So I wanna kind of adjust it here. So let's do 15 frames, okay? And then we're gonna take this position and shift it downward, okay? And you wanna make sure it's it's underneath the, uh, the green layer here, all right? And then we're gonna hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them both and then test it. Perfect, right? looks nice right but now we want to actually apply our set mat okay so we're gonna hide the set mat one and we're gonna go back here and you see our layer here right our effect for set mat if you look at take mat from layer we're gonna set this to set mat one and invert it okay what that does is it hides that particular text layer until it gets to that point right now we also need to set up this that way we can actually see the text here for some reason it doesn't work that way but we have to enable that okay now what i normally do for 
a little bit more uh, fanciness is I like to apply a motion blur to my text layers, all right? And we do the same thing for the shape layer because we're gonna animate that too. Now, if you think this doesn't look good and you want the motion blur to be a little bit more aggressive, you can go into the advanced settings in the comp and increase the shutter angle or decrease it depending on what you like. And you can get a little bit more aggressive with that motion blur, right? That looks good. So when you play it, it just kind of comes in smooth and there's some motion blur to go with it. So next we're going to do the same thing for this other text layer here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and set up set mat 2 for this one, right? And we're actually going to hide this real quick because we need to animate the text first, okay? So we're going to hit P on the keyboard and we're going to keyframe the position right at 10 seconds, okay? And then we can go backward, but we're going to set this one up to go upward, okay? And then we can re-enable the set mat, okay? And then we need to invert that. Fix that up here. So now you can see how it just kind of comes in just like that, right? But wait, we're not done yet, okay? So what I want to do next is I want to take these two text layers and shoot them outward a little bit, right? So at 10 frames here, I want to take both of these comps or both of these layers rather and move them outward, okay? So that way we can take our shape layer and we're going to add a content to it, all right? We're going to add a trim path to this, okay? Trim paths helps you animate this, okay? And I have some notes over here, that way in case I don't forget myself. And we're going to set the keyframe on the end on the end phase, okay? And we're going to move over to 10 seconds and move that keyframe over, okay? And then we're going to set this to zero, okay? And then F9 on the keyboard, make sure it's easy eased, and then you can test it out. All right, so now you got a nice elegant line coming in and then we can play it. Looks good, right? Now, in case it's a little slow for you, we can take the keyframes here. Easy ease those. And kind of move them in a little bit. So if you want them to go for 10 seconds or for 10 frames, you can go for 10 frames, test it out, see if it's better. Perfect, awesome, let's move on. All right, so next is the hard part, which isn't really hard, but we want to make sure that every single one of these letters is animating separately, okay? So we're gonna start with tutorial first, okay? Now to do that, we wanna make sure everything here in the text layer is unfolded, okay? So we're gonna start this over again, okay? So if you look right here, it's text. We're gonna go to animate, we're gonna set position, okay? Now on my notes right here, we have the Y position set to a static, 103 okay we're gonna leave that there we're not gonna set a keyframe just gonna leave it there it's fine next we're gonna open up the range selector in the advanced options here okay unfold everything here you've got your ease high your shape your start and an offset which helps the parameters for the animation but we're gonna set the shape to a ramp up okay and we're gonna set the rank the ease high to 14%, okay? This is my setting, so if you wanna set it up to anything you want, you're more than welcome to, okay? Now, we're not gonna set a keyframe on the ease high. However, we're gonna start here at 10 frames, and we're gonna set a keyframe for the start and the offset, okay? Now, for the start, we wanna leave it zero, but for the offset, we wanna set to negative 100, okay? And then we're gonna move forward in time to one second, one frame, and then we're gonna reverse this. So offset will be zero, start will be 100%, okay? And then just make sure those are easy eased and then review it. Perfect, okay? So next we wanna do the bottom text, right? So I semi have it already opened up here, okay? So we're gonna do the same exact thing for tutorial except it's gonna be for the for YouTube text. And I have different settings for this one too because it's basically gonna go in reverse. Okay, so we're going to start this over and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add a position and for this one, we want to start this one at negative 140. Okay, we're not going to animate it. We're just going to leave it alone. We're going to open up our parameters for our range and we're actually, let me go back to 10 frames here. That way we can get our scene set up here. And for our range, we're going to set all of these keyframes up. Okay, so for this one, we want our start to be from... 100% to zero, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set it up to 100% and then move forward. 
and then go to zero. And then what I have in the other actual comp is I have this set to 100 right here, okay? Uh, it's for timing purposes. So make sure you put that keyframe right here in the middle. And then we're gonna go right here. We're gonna set the end offset to zero. So we're just gonna keep that keyframe there, but we're gonna go to start here. And we're actually gonna set this to 83% at the start, okay? Now for the end, it's gonna be the same as start, okay? So from 100% all the way to zero, okay? And we're not gonna set a keyframe there, all right? Make sure that's all easy eased and double check your work. Make sure that looks good. Awesome. All right. Now we're not done yet because we got to set up our ramp down this time. All right. So we have our ease high and ease low settings. For ease high, I have it set to 81%. And then for my ease low is 29%. Okay. So next we can review the footage. Make sure that looks good. Awesome. So now that we have this particular portion done, we can move on to the next step. So the next step is basically finalizing this project and making it look pretty, right? So I'm gonna pull in comp two here, right? So if comp two, there's our intro, right? And we're gonna move it down to about three seconds, okay? Now, in order to make it look nice and pretty for a YouTube intro, we're gonna add a brand new solid and we're gonna call this Gradient BG. All right, and we're gonna, we're gonna make it black and put this underneath it, right? And then we're gonna go into our effects. We're gonna go to generate gradient ramp, okay? Now, I actually wanna reverse these. So we're gonna set that to white and we're gonna set this to black, all right? And then we're gonna go back to the white portion here and make it a nice dark gray color, okay? Now that's not all. We're actually, I'm actually gonna make these 3D layers, okay? Now, the reason for it is because I'm about to add a camera to it, all right? So what I wanna do, this is how the 3D camera works with force perspective, okay? I'm gonna change the view from the active camera to the top. There's not much to be seen, but I'm gonna take the background and kind of force it in the back here and leave this particular layer, comp two, in the middle, all right? Doesn't look like much has changed, right? It's because you're not going to tell. Okay, so we're gonna add a camera. We're gonna make it, yeah, sure, we'll make it 24 millimeter. And I'm actually going to do the position and the rotation, okay? And then as this is coming in, right, I wanna go towards the end of this, all right? And we're gonna set a keyframe for these positions, okay? So for the position, I'm gonna move this in to where you can just make that white, okay? And then we're gonna go backwards. I wanna say 10 frames. Yeah, we'll make it 10 frames, okay? And then we'll set this one out a little bit more. Right? Now, an easier way to do this would be to take that keyframe right here, move it forward, and then move it in. Okay, look good. Now in order to get that motion blur back, we have to turn this on and then turn on motion blur. Okay. Perfect. And then that looks way too aggressive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and turn down the shutter angle just a little bit. Awesome. All right, next we wanna do the rotation, okay? So with that rotation, we're gonna set this keyframe up here, and then towards the end here, erase this keyframe. And set that one up right there, okay? Easy ease them out, and then play the footage back. If it looks good, then we are good to go. And there you go, an easy text reveal with just one effect. All right, guys, that'll do it. 
for this video you guys now have your very own intro that you can use for youtube or twitch at any time and it didn't require anything super fancy right it was super super easy to do that's going to do it for this video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below on your favorite video so far once again when i hit 10,000 subs on this channel i'll be giving away a copy of element 3d completely free all you have to do is watch the video previously that i posted to find out more that'll do it for me i'll catch you guys in the next one